I was unable to extend my C drive until I discovered this. Let me show you what I did. I discovered that my disk has some unallocated space which can be used to extend my C drive. So I opened disk management only to find out that between my C drive and my unallocated space is another partition. The recovery partition. It's currently more important to have more space on my C drive than having the recovery partition which I might never use. The recovery partition holds files essential to system recovery to its initial state. If I ever need it, I would rather download the most current Windows ISO file and use it to recover or reinstall. When I right-click my C drive, the extend option is grayed out. When I right-click the recovery partition, I don't have any options other than help. Right-clicking the unallocated space allows me to use that space to create a new drive but not to extend my existing one. Basically, to be able to extend my C drive, I need to eliminate the recovery partition. If you have the same situation, here's what you can do. And by the way, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button. This will tell the YouTube algorithm that it's a good video and should be shown to more people. Clicking the bell icon will notify you when a new video is published. Please subscribe. Now before you proceed, I have to implore you not to do this. So don't do it. Unless you're a pro. And to get closer to being a pro, make sure you watch all my videos. Open CMD and run disk part. Then type list disk to see all your disks. As you can see here, I only have one and it's disk zero. Now you need to select the disk which has the recovery partition by typing select disk followed by the disk number. Type list partition to display all the partitions on the selected disk. Here you can see my C drive. This is my system reserved partition. And this is my recovery partition. And I know that because it has the word recovery right here. Now you need to select the recovery partition. So type select partition followed by the partition number. The delete partition is the correct command to delete a partition. This command would work on any partition other than the recovery one. Yes, it doesn't work. So all you need to do is to adjust the command slightly and add the override argument like this. And as you can see, after running this command, the recovery partition fell into the big bad void of nothingness. And now for the final step. Close disk part, right click the C drive and click extend volume. Click next, then next again, and then finish. Almost instantly, your C drive gets a boost to its size. And if you open Windows Explorer, you could see the new size of your C drive here. It's important to remember that this is non-reversible. There is no restore to deleted partitions. Don't come blaming me if you deleted the wrong partition. No, really. Seriously. Be very careful not to delete an essential partition. And now it's time to end this. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.